Hello YouTube. I will continue my discussions about cosmonauts and what they observe in outer space. Today I'll speak about cosmonaut Talgat Musabayev. Uh, Major General of the Russian Army, Talgat Musabayev is a pilot cosmonaut, hero of the Russian Federation, people's hero of Kazakhstan, holder of the Russian Orders of Merit, for the fatherland of second and third degrees, candidate of technical sciences. He was a Kazakh test pilot and former cosmonaut who flew on three space flights. His first two fly space flights were um, long duration stays aboard the Russian space station Mir, and his third space flight was a short duration visiting mission to the International Space Station. He retired as a cosmonaut in November of 2003 but uh, since 2007 he has been the head of the Kazakhstan National Space Agency Kazkosmos. I, I don't know what the situation is today after all the problems in Kazakhstan but clearly we're dealing with an experienced pilot and cosmonaut. So in an interview years ago he admitted that he had encountered something mysterious in the outer space. Here's what he revealed. Once during a spacewalk, it happened that the structure to which my safety carboner latch was attached, it came off. I began to slowly sink into the abyss. It was something terrible. In an instant, my whole life flashed before my eyes. The situation was completely hopeless. Um, there were no instructions on how to rescue an astronaut or cosmonaut in such a situation on the spaceship. The air supply would be enough for eight hours and after that inevitable death. And suddenly something inexplicable happened, a strange movement as a result of which I was again at the spaceship's rail. No pushing, no touching, it's hard to put into words. Everything happened contrary to logic and circumstances. And this was not the only case. So gradually the confidence began to come that something from above protects us. I felt this presence all the time. For some reason I am sure that the universe is saturated with other forms, other beings, no auditory or visual sensations. The inhabitants of space do not give themselves away in any way. And yet I intuitively felt that they were here nearby. It's something subtle, elusive. It's always there. It's filling thoughts and consciousness. When I looked at the constellation Cygnus, I had a vague feeling that there was something there. I do not know what exactly, but the brain picked up strange impulses. I repeat, Everything happens at the level of intuition. Other cosmonauts told about the same feelings. Now, according to Doctor of Medical Sciences Alexander Volkovich, this may be hallucinations generated by spaceflight. And he says they arise as a result of the impact on an unusual external environment on a person, weightlessness, high radiation magnetic field. In any case, the source of the visions is in the person himself. With a long stay in weightlessness, information may suddenly emerge from the depth of some conscious in the form of fragments of the life of various organisms or distant human ancestors. Hence, the visions that they have of tigers and dinosaurs. The situation itself can provoke glitches. Prolonged silence is harmful to a person. This was shown by the test of a cosmonaut candidates in the sign language chamber. So one of the subjects after 30 hours of isolation saw a TV floating in the air and among the control panel devices he saw some faces. Another thought that the dashboard began to melt and drip on the floor. Paintings are not for the uh, faint of heart. It can also be assumed that a stream of radiation from the depths of the galaxy triggers these dreams. If a spacecraft falls into such a beam and the astronaut is in a relaxed uh, state, then the phenomenon arises. 
Well, with all due respect to the Russian scientists, I have testimonies of Russian and Ukrainian scientists, cosmonauts, about very strange phenomena they experience out there, their complicated visions, the whisper that I've talked about for years in outer space, the metamorphosis and much more. Please see my videos in the playlist about cosmonauts. Something is out there that doesn't reconcile itself with our presence in space, but it doesn't mean it's hostile. It's more of a warning to us. This is very interesting. The hostilities, well, that's the Phobos issue. And again, you can find it all in my playlist. I will bring you more information about cosmonauts and their experiences. And please help my research. You can find the links on how to do it in the description to this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please tell others. Thank you.